We want to thank everyone for coming to this great event this evening to watch the start of these two wonderful people's journeys through life. Each of you were invited because you represent someone important in the individual and collective lives of Colleen and Pat. It's our time to shine. It's our time. <laughs> Colleen, today is not only your wedding day, but it commemorates 30 years of my knowing and loving you. Happy birthday. Colleen is the person that you always want in your corner. She's the one person in your life you can count on. She never judges you and always looks on the brighter side of all situations. Colleen, I want to be the first to officially welcome you into our crazy family, AKA the pack of assholes. <laughs> You're ready for the wedding of Polly and Pat. Almost eight years ago, Pat was a boy we heard of, but weren't actually sure existed. According to Colleen, he was just a friend for a very long time. Met him at a 3rd of July party. He doesn't remember this. He says we met like two nights later at like a house party. <laughs> and then we exchanged numbers. We were keeping in touch and we ended up going to the same bar for New Year's Eve. And I'm like, everyone wants that on, on New Year's Eve, someone to kiss at midnight. And I was like, well, I'm just gonna go for it. I texted him, I said, meet me at midnight if you're legit. <laughs> when I receive a text at 6.30 on a Sunday morning, hey sis, can you come pick me up at Braintree? I knew they were more than just friends. <laughs> We've been together pretty much our whole 20s and you change so much in your 20s. So we went through all those things together. A lot has happened. Moved in together, bought a house, we have two dogs. And then getting engaged. Second time I tied a bow tie, first time was yesterday. Colleen was scrubbing dishes, I come in, we have a gate, I think I tripped over the gate, I almost throw the ring at her just because I'm so nervous and then her hands are in the sink in the pot, and then she's like, she starts freaking out. Five minutes later, I'm like, you never said yes. She's like, well, you actually never even asked me to marry you. I'm like, oh, I forgot that part. would tell us that Pat was the light of her life, which now makes sense because he is an electrician. I don't know if he's closer to my heart for marrying my daughter or giving me my recess lights in my living room that I wanted for 27 years. Oh my God, it's fucking unbelievable. I love you. You look great. I think you were the only person in the world that could convince Call to take responsibility of not one, but two golden retrievers. My family has been through a lot the past few years with my daughter being sick and Pat and Colleen have both been a huge support system for us throughout it all. Pat, you should really be proud of the man you've become. And I couldn't be happier for you marrying Colleen. Colleen is not only my sister, but my best friend. And knowing she'll be taken care of and respected, there's not much more I could ask for my little sister. No, I can't. Pat's 
stated that he admires Colleen's perseverance and determination in the face of adversity. He loves the fact that not only is she easy to talk to about anything, she also makes him comfortable sitting in silence. The fact that she is smart, funny, outgoing, and beautiful only adds to his desire to make her his wife. Colleen stated that Pat has the ability to make her feel that any experience she goes through or that they go through together will always be okay. He makes her feel safe, secure, and understood. Pat makes her a priority every day. She describes him as patient, reliable, and calming. Keep your spirit and friendships alive like you have, but always keep your spirit and friendship alive between yourselves. Hi Colleen, take you Pat to be my husband. Hi Pat, take you Colleen to be my wife. To live together with you in a state of matrimony. To love you, honor you, comfort, and keep you. Good through good, through good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. Forsaking all others. As long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. I can't move. the power vested in me by the Commonwealth of Massachusetts, it is my honor and delight to declare you husband and wife. You may now kiss each other. Cheers to the new Mr. and Mrs. Grant. I won't run, I won't fly, I will never make it more without you. As we grow older, we begin to measure time in months and then years, and we begin to understand that time moves quite rapidly. And there comes a stage in our lives when we begin to measure time in decades. But each measure of time, no matter how long or short, is really nothing more than a series of moments woven together. The same goes for marriage. Marriage is a rich, ever-expanding tapestry of moments that get woven together over time. A smile, a meal, a laugh, a conversation, a song. Rather than some rings and some changes in the terminology, there's really no difference between yesterday and tomorrow. As they go, may they know every love that was shown, and as life it gets shorter, may their feelings grow. Wherever they travel, wherever they stay, may God bless this couple who married today.